Okay, this is day 17. These are both day 17 eggs. This is the egg I took out every night. Um, it's still, it was still going really, really good. They both were going, and this one over here is one I didn't turn the whole time. Um, you can tell a huge difference between those two. Um, even being out nine hours a day, or a night, I should say, still made an incredible difference. And to my surprise, I thought I was going to see more deformities on it. I don't see any at all. Even it might, it would just take a lot longer uh, for it to grow. Maybe an extra two weeks for it to grow, which is going to lead to the next time I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to try this project again, but leave it in there for probably as long as the duck egg would be in there. Um, see how it's grown? It actually still grown. It was grown for a while. You get to see it's just starting to get its feathers on it. Definitely way behind. These are two eggs that were in the egg bear at the exact same time. This was the one when I didn't turn. It didn't seem to be, I think it might be a little bit smaller than it should be, but it's only day 18. Um, still a couple more days to go. And I'm definitely gonna try this one again too and see if it actually could hatch. Uh, a lot of people say you have to turn it even on weekends or it won't hatch or you have a deformed chick. Um, I don't see any deformities on this. This looks like a perfectly healthy chick. But I didn't want to take any, I did not want any of these to hatch because I was scared to be in deformities. I didn't want to have a bad life, so. That is why I ended the experiment before we got before we got to day 18 and before it had a chance to hatch. I didn't wanna I would feel bad if it had any deformities if it hatched, but both these really really look good. And definitely I think if I would have left this one in longer, it definitely might have hatched. It probably would need some assistance since it hasn't been turned. And it might have got stuck to the shell. Um but other than that, I think it might have hatched. I'll definitely be trying it again and this time I'm um, going all the way, see if it actually can hatch. Uh, and this one is when I, this is one of my original ideas back, goes back to 2005, where I was only allowed to have the heating pad on for during the day and not at night. And I want to see if I actually did have a fertile egg, which back then I didn't have fertile eggs at that time, um, what would happen. And obviously it still would grow and it's still doing really well. I'm definitely interested to see if I would have left in for an extra week or so. Um, if anything would have happened so definitely something to try next time. Um, I can definitely continue to do these experiments um, I didn't do the one where I took the big part end of the show the big part of the show off uh, Where the air sac is um, I had done that many times before and I have a pretty good I have a pretty good hatch rate on that watching that hatch So I pretty much mastered that you guys can follow look at my old videos um, The links that will be in the description below has a whole playlist for all those um, videos and the past experiment ones too so Definitely hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll be having a live cam up in a couple days for another chick's hatch. Because um, tomorrow's 18, so I'll be starting it um, then. So thank you guys for watching. I'll post the I'll post the link in the description for the the live cam. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the webcam.